Hey, it's Seniority. One of our goals is to give as much information to the site visitor as possible. So by the time they walk through the front door, they've already got enough information to make it an informed decision about whether or not they're ready to move in. And chances are, by the time they do walk through your door, if they're walking through your door and they've gotten their information from seniority, they are ready to say yes. So one of the difficulties, especially in in today's world is getting people in through the door to be able to give them tours and people rarely like to sign up for things that they don't get to see. One of the things about a Google 360 tour is that you can have them walk through your door from the comfort and safety of their own home and take a full tour that you're guiding them through so that they can see all of the features that your community offers. So when you go to your listing and you can see if you have a Google 360 tour already embedded, all the site visitor has to do is click the see inside and it takes them down to the Google 360 tour where they can walk around and take a look. Now, if you can tell right here, this is the Sir Fat Francis Drake Hotel. This is just one of my test listings, but you get the idea. So how do you get that tour on here? Well, actually, that's quite easy. Like anything else in Seniority, when you go to Edit, you just hover over the Edit icon and click on the Edit Listing button. And that will take you to your Edit Listing screen. Then you just go down to the Social area and the Contact and Location information. At, you will see at the bottom, just below the City field, that you've got a place for a 360 view embed code. Now, getting that embed code is actually quite easy. All you have to do is go to Google Maps. So it's google.com slash maps. And up in the search bar, just type in your name of your business or your business address. And it will pop up. Um, you may have to select it um, so it will pop up. So once it pops up, you just scroll down to the bottom to the photo section and keep clicking through until you get to the Street View in 360. So click on that and you'll see a bunch on the left of 360 views. So I'm just going to scroll down and see what I've got to work with here. And one of the nice things I like about the 360 is you can kind of move it around and so your beginning screen can really be nice. That's nice. So let's say I wanted to use that so the three dots that are associated right next to the title um, are what you're going to click on. And there's going to be a share or embed image. And you click on that. And it's going to pop open. And of course, we want to click on embed a map. It sounds a little confusing. It's not really a map, but that's what they call it. So over on the left, you can select a size. I suggest you select large. We're actually going to change the size in a little bit. Um, so don't re really worry about it too much, but all you have to do is click on copy HTML, just like that. And it's copied to your clip clipboard, so you go back to that edit listing page, and you just paste that right in here, go down to the bottom, and click save. And then when you get to your tour, make sure you refresh your page. Um, you can do that by clicking on the title of your page in your breadcrumb right here and then click on see inside and you should be able to walk around your Google tour. So you see that this is not all the way full width. Let's do something about that. I'd like this to go all the way to the edge. So one of the things that the Google embed tour does is it has a limit to how wide it is. So I'm going to stretch this out so you can see that code and you can see the width is limited to 800. Well, We don't want 800. That means 800 pixels, which is about that wide. So instead of it being 800 pixels, we're going to change it to 100%. That way it's going to go all the way wide. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. And we're going to click Save. And we're going to go back to our listing and click on the listing name here in the breadcrumb. So it just reloads that page. Click on See Inside. You can see it goes all the way edge to edge. So I have a nice, gorgeous, big walkthrough review. What's really nice is if your user is on a cell phone, as they pan the cell phone around without even touching it with their finger, they just move their phone back and forth. It will walk them through the rooms 
all by itself. So this is a great way for you to be able to get your interior views and your best features right in front of the eyeballs and fingertips of those who are really interested. Good luck!